What's up everybody? This is Gabe at Security Baron and today we're talking about the Arlo Pro 2 HD wire-free security cameras. If you want to see a list of our favorite security cameras, just Google Security Baron best security cameras. And if you have any questions about today's review, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. Arlo is a home security company that recently spun off of Netgear that specializes in home security cameras. Today, we're talking about the Arlo Pro 2. Arlo highlights the following features on its Arlo Pro 2. 1080p HD wireless capability, indoor and outdoor functionality due to weather resistance, two-way audio, cloud storage, mobile alerts, geofencing, and a smart siren. Right out of the box, when you grab the Arlo Pro 2, you'll think, whoa, that's kind of heavy. It's definitely one of the heavier cameras that we've seen, which I don't think is a bad thing, but it's definitely got a weighty feel despite its plastic exterior. Let's take a look at the design of the Arlo Pro 2. What you'll note immediately is this magnetic ball. It's a little awkward because it doesn't allow for a full range of motion. If you want the camera to be angled in a certain direction, you may not be able to do it unless you do likewise. Then you can set it flat on your surface like a bookcase or a table and get the view that you would like. The Arlo Pro comes with two buttons. One on the back is for opening it up and looking at the battery, and the one on the front is for syncing it. In the back, you have this space for the magnetic mount. You have this threading metal that allows you to mount it onto a wall directly. And here you have the USB-C charging port. For your two-way audio, you've got your microphone and speaker on the bottom side of the camera. The front of the camera is shiny and black. It has a recessed lens, and you have these two different indicator lights on each side that tell you things like whether or not you've synced your camera correctly. In order to know whether or not the Arlo Pro 2 is right for you and your home security needs, let's hit it with the Security Baron Necessary Features Test. Here at Security Baron, we think that every camera should have 1080p high definition video, two-way audio, a high performing night vision, cloud and local storage, smart platform integration, artificial intelligence, value, and convenience. Video quality is a Security Baron necessary feature, and the Arlo Pro 2 comes with what is almost standard now of 1080p high definition video. Of course, you can enhance that vision with your eight time digital zoom, and you can see anything within a 130 degree field of view. So in terms of its video quality, we give the Arlo Pro 2 full marks. A Security Baron necessary feature is two way audio. Now what's cool about the two-way audio on the Arlo Pro 2 is that because it's an indoor and outdoor camera, you can talk to people that are pretty far away. So if someone's gone to the mailbox, you can ask them to bring in your newspaper directly through the camera. Of course, the Wi-Fi signal may start to lag from that type of distance, but it's still a fun thing to be able to do. So for two-way audio, we give the Arlo Pro 2 full marks. A security baron necessary feature is night vision because we still wanna be able to see what's going on if it's past bedtime. So with the Arlo Pro 2, considering its video quality in the daytime, we were a little disappointed in how it looks at night. While it's not the worst night vision, it definitely leaves a lot to be desired, and we noted that a lot of other consumers also had issues with the night vision. However, we do say that it almost compensates for that with how well it sees in low light around dusk and dawn. So when it comes to the Security Baron necessary feature of night vision, we give the Arlo Pro 2 half marks. A Security Baron necessary feature comprised of two elements is local and cloud storage. The Arlo Pro 2 does well in each division as it comes with a local option of USB storage, which allows you to connect a hard drive directly to the hub. It also comes with seven free days of cloud storage, which with the smart premium upgrade of $9.99 a month, you can upgrade to a full month of cloud storage. So when it comes to the security barrier necessary feature of local and cloud storage, we have to give it full marks. A security barrier necessary feature is smart platform integration, and the Arlo Pro 2 really does a good job here with its Amazon Alexa integration. And due to recent updates, will also work well with Google Assistant. So in terms of its smart platform integration, we have to give the Arlo Pro 2 full marks. 
Artificial intelligence is a security barrier necessary feature. We're generally looking for facial recognition or some type of person versus animal detection. And here with the Arlo Pro 2, we don't really get any of that. When it comes to the Arlo Pro 2 and artificial intelligence, we can't give it full marks. Value is definitely a consideration and a part of the security barrier necessary features test. When you're looking at the Arlo Pro 2 two camera kit, it does seem to be a pretty good deal because you get two cameras, one for example you could place indoor and one you could place really far away outdoor and the hub for around $300. So when it comes to value as a security barrier's necessary features test, we give the Arlo Pro 2 full marks. A security barrier necessary feature is convenience because ultimately you wanna be able to set up your cameras and be ready to go and surveying your property as quickly as possible and painlessly as possible. So when it comes to the Arlo Pro 2, it comes with a hub and the hub connects directly to your router through an ethernet cable. Then you press the sync button on the hub and the seek button on your camera and within 30 seconds, those devices pair and you're ready to place the camera wherever you'd like. So I think at around 150, 200 feet, you may begin to run into problems of communication between the camera and the hub, but generally it's super easy to set up. So when it comes to convenience for the Arlo Pro 2, we have to give it full marks. Now, every feature on a camera is only as good as its app. So let's take a peek at the Arlo Pro 2 smartphone application. Let's start out with looking at the live video. I've set up two cameras, one called Security Baron Arlo 1 and the second called Security Baron Arlo 2, the second of which is directed directly at me, the former of which is directed towards the living room. Now, there are a lot of things happening on the screen, so I'm gonna try to get through them as efficiently as possible. On the bottom row, you can pause the video, record the video, take a snapshot, microphone for two-way audio, or listen to what's happening. And finally, of course, you can do a full screen image so you can landscape on your phone. You can also add a device below these devices. You have Arlo Q, Arlo Go, and Arlo Baby Monitor that can all attach to the same base station. Now what I like is that if you don't wanna go into the specific settings at the very top, it lets you know what's happening in terms of your base station connection so you can know how much Wi-Fi you're getting or not getting and there's a small battery charging symbol so you can know where you are and you're charging. Of course, it also has symbols for whether or not someone's in the house or when you go away and for the local storage. So if I click on settings, I can turn a camera off for the purposes of privacy, I can look at the battery, and I can even change the video settings. So I can optimize it for best video, or I can optimize it for best battery, or do something in between the two. Now if I go into the library, I can look at the actual people that have come into the room today and see what's going on. So if you've armed the system, it'll tell you what's happening, and that's really useful. Finally, if I click on mode, that takes me to a symbol of the actual base station where I can decide where I wanna be now, which is disarmed since I'm in the home, or I can go to schedule, geofencing, or just straight up arm the system. So there's a lot happening, but these are all useful, and this is what it looks like inside of the Arlo mobile application. So this is the 1080p high definition video of the Arlo Pro 2. So as you can see, in the daytime, it's really crisp, really clear, and it's a little bit disorienting to see the alarm and the 911 call at the very top until you click it away, but that's fine. That's interesting. But as you can see, you can also go in and see exactly how much you're zooming in. You get to 16 times digital zoom. You can see that that's Australia right there. And if I got French Polynesia around here, there are a lot of options. But ultimately, the video quality on the Arlo Pro 2 is pretty great. This is a view of the infrared night vision on the Arlo Pro 2. Now, it's definitely not the worst night vision that we've seen. It, it actually may even be good to some extent. It just does not contrast well with the really crisp and pristine daytime video quality. But of course, you still have the digital zoom available and the 130 degree field of view. And you can make out what's happening on the screen. Uh, it's just not gonna be as clear as one might expect from looking at the daytime video quality. That's night vision on 
the Arlo Pro 2. Just to recap, when it comes to security bear necessary features, the Arlo Pro 2 came with stellar video quality, full marks. It's got 1080p, 130 degree field of view, and eight time digital zoom. Two way audio on the Arlo Pro 2, full marks. Not only do you get the capacity to speak to someone, but it also has a smart Saturn. For night vision, we can't give the Arlo Pro 2 full marks, especially considering how well it sees in the day, but it does compensate with how well it sees in low light. When it comes to local and cloud storage on the Arlo Pro 2, we give it full marks because you can connect a USB storage device and take your cloud storage from seven free days to a whole month. For smart platform integration, we give it full marks for the way it meshes with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. For artificial intelligence and security bearing necessary features tests, we don't give it full marks because it really doesn't have any facial recognition or even person detection. The current value of the Arlo Pro 2 deserves full marks because you can get the hub and two cameras for around $300. But we do wanna mention that if we had made this review when the Arlo Pro 2 first came out, we wouldn't give it full marks because it did start out a little high. Full marks for convenience for the Arlo Pro 2 for how easy it was to set up the two cameras and have it working in our home. At the end of the day, we're trying to figure out if the Arlo Pro 2 is right for you and your smart home security needs. If you're looking for a wireless indoor-outdoor weather-resistant camera with crisp, clear 1080p and significant free cloud storage options, the Arlo Pro 2 might be for you. However, if you need pristine night vision, then you may want to look in a different direction. And that's our review of the Arlo Pro 2 HD wireless security camera. If you appreciated this video, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe. As always, this is Gabe of Security Baron. Be secure.